Now, when we think of nolophane, by default, we often just think of suspension bushings, but there's much more to the picture. We need to also think about differential bushings and differential mounting. So today, I want to talk about some of the differential solutions. Now, why is this a problem all of a sudden? Well, I can tell you, it's a common service item. It's a common service item because we've come from many, many years of having what we call a live axle in the back of our cars, just that big diff that you know, that sat on leaf springs. Now, the modern car that has independent suspension on either sides often requires the diff to be mounted in a subframe. So therefore, you need bushings for that to mount to. So, the next thing, if you don't address and maintain and look after that area of your car, you're talking about engaging with the driveline systems that move around and drive your car. And believe me, they are very, very expensive parts if you don't look after this area. So what are the symptoms to look for? Well, if you've got a problem in the rear end, you'll often feel that driveline shudder, or more often you'll hear or feel the clunking. And sometimes that'll be when you're in reverse and you back up, you pull it into drive and clunk as you go forward. That's a sure sign that there's a bit of an issue. Let's take a look at a rear end. Okay, so when we talk diff bush mountings, here's the rear one on this territory and the front one's over here closer to me. Now the real challenge for manufacturers when they design this stuff is to find or strike a balance between plushness if you like or eliminating NVH which stands for noise, vibration and harshness and the longevity or the reliability of the product and its ability to do its job. Very difficult balance to strike. And this is where Nolothane always come along with great solutions. Now, if we look at the modern diff bush that Nolothane make, I mean, some really cool stuff here. I mean, look at the, the voids in here, the space in between. So that's made of the Nolothane material that we've come to know and trust, but they've found a really nice balance with allowing those voids to get rid of any of the harshness. And when you look at a diff mounting, I mean, that's not how I would expect a bush to look, but it's just another really good example of how Nolothane have applied themselves and their R&D to coming up with more suspension solutions, and in this case, differential solutions.